today I'd like to show you how to sand spindles without using power tools. Um, I did power tools on the other side, but it's kind of a little iffy because you quickly can take out a big chunk of it. So I have a couple different things I want to try today. This is a sanding cord. Then we have stretchable, flexible sandpaper that you can it's stretchy and gets nicely into all the crevices and then i have various sandpaper that is duct tape and cut into strips and we will go around it and sand like this so i'll be giving it to try and show you First, let me show you the ultra flexible sanding sheets. They are such a versatile and effective tool for sanding larger intricate areas of the spindles. I love how they conform to the shape of the spindles no matter what shape they are. I cut the sheets into different widths for sanding in specific areas of the spindles and you can see how well they work. method is the abrasive cord. It can be a game changer when sanding tight grooves and intricate details on spindles. Simply wrap the cord around the spindle and pull it back and forth to sand away any finish or imperfections. I find a rougher grit abrasive cord more effective. Next method is a great hack for sanding spindles or rounded edges. Whether prepping for painting or removing an existing finish, you only need sheets of sandpaper in different grits, duct tape and sharp scissors. Cut strips of duct tape that are longer than your sheet of sandpaper. Stick those duct tape strips to the back of the sheet of sandpaper. I also like adding duct tape to the sticky part that overlaps the sandpaper on the front so I can grip it better with my hands while sanding. Now cut the sandpaper into strips that are different widths. The duct tape strengthens the sandpaper and makes it easier to grip while wrapping around the spindles. Pull from both ends to sand around the round areas of the spindles. Thank you. 
Honestly, a combination of the three methods I showed you work best for sanding spindles, but if I'd have to choose one of them, I'd pick the flexible sandpaper. It just really works great all around. Here's a close-up of one of the spindle legs, all clean and unfinished. Since this bench is acacia wood, I used the same hardwood and teak protector that I used on my newly refinished teak lounge chairs. Check out that tutorial too for more details. And that's it for today. Talk to you soon.